I have some sugar cane here that I harvested this year and I'm going to be taking this sugar cane and converting it into cane syrup without a sugar cane press. And I'm going to show you how I do that. First thing you do is clean off all this black junk on it. We don't want to add that flavor to the final cane, so I like to clean the canes up really good. Put them aside. Alright, the next step is to chop them up. I've got a really good pair of Felco pruning shears here that make short work of these things. So we're just going to chop it up and put them into a big, big stock pot. So I've got my largest stock pot going for this process. Now I've got my stock pot filled most of the way up and I am going to fill it up with water until it's just over the top of this cane. Then we are going to start boiling. Okay, I've been boiling this for about three hours and you want to just keep going and going until the cane itself really doesn't have that sweetness to it and the sweetness has gone out into the water instead. So at this point it's ready to be strained out and then we'll do the final boil down. Okay, I spooned out a lot of the chunks and now I'm just going to go through here and strain it off into another container and we may have to use a secondary container to do this. And then once I clean this big pot out I'll pour the juice back in here and do a final boil down in this big stock pot. Or maybe I'll just do it in the little one. Now you just let it go. Let it boil and boil and boil until it starts to thicken up. And then you will have your syrup. I also have to say that the smell of boiling cane syrup is fantastic. It makes your entire house smell like sweet corn. It's amazing. This is where it's setting up into syrup and you can see how the bubbles are starting to get foamy. And then we're gonna pour this off in a jar in a minute here. There we go. All that sugar cane came down to that much nice dark delicious syrup. So not exactly the best yield of the plant kingdom, but man it's delicious.